So now let's take a look at the guitar solo. This is solo number one. I'll play it through for you first of all. A one, two, three, four. Now for the solo section, we've kicked up a minor third. We've changed key, so we've gone from A for the main riff up to C for the solo section. So the solo is based around the C minor pentatonic scale. So we start off with this figure bending up on the B. Okay, then we're descending. Now on the original, this is a fast triplet uh, figure. The track is a swung blues, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so it's not straight. So we're going to play a swung eighth note descending pattern and you're going like this. Okay, so playing the top E, pull off, pull off, onto the D and then roll the third finger over onto the G. Play the G with the first finger and uh, bend that with a quarter tone, little blues curl bend there. And then. Okay, now this next lick is quite hard. I wanted to reference a bit of Billy's awesome phrasing from that original solo. Are you going to hammer on? On the A and then play the D string with the first finger and then change position. Okay, with the third finger dropping down from shape one to shape five. So it's that kind of shifting uh, shape, that extended pentatonic shape. So you're going. And then we jump up to the root on the D. And then we do that again. Okay, and this final time we play the root twice. And play that G string and just add that little uh, quarter tone bend on the end. So you get this. Okay, then we're going to slide up. Again, it's all this extended pentatonic shapes. You're sliding up to the uh, top part of um, shape number two, and we're going. Now, I'm using pick and fingers there. You can kind of shake the guitar a little bit, get some of that nice bluesy vibrato when you play that lick. So you're playing the G string with a pick and the B string with your second finger. If you can't play that technique, don't worry, you can just with the pick, but I think there's something quite uh, percussive about using pick and fingers. You get... And then... Okay, and you're playing the G and B with your third finger, so you're back into shape one, and then... Uh, bend with the first finger. You're kind of bending both of those strings and resolve to the root note. And then we're going... OK, let's put that section together, so you go... OK, following on from that, I've kind of referenced the lick that Billy plays, but he plays it like a far sort of triplet ascending pattern. We're just keeping it very straight and using the swung eighth notes. So we're going... Again, it's that extended pentatonic shape where you can shift positions. You're starting off pick and hammer. Pick, hammer, slide. And then... Now, this is a lick straight out of the original. I thought this was really cool. Uh, you're going to have to bend with your first finger on the G. You go... And then... OK, so you're going... OK, now on to the next portion. Again, this is referencing the original recording, but I've simplified it slightly. You're going...
OK, so you'll come out of the previous phrase. And then we just loop from here. OK, there we drop down. OK, and then we have fast hammer, so... And then... OK, so now let's play through the solo at a slow tempo. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Really take care with their solo, digest each section. But that is a great little example of a Texas-style blues solo, very much in the style of Billy Gibbons. OK, so now it's your turn to play the main solo, solo one, and I'll see you back here for the breakdown section. <laughs> 